Watch your back, watch your back, watch your back. I'm a Nazi, no, I'm a Nazi, I'm not a Nazi. You okay? Yeah, so I just got jumped and attacked by leftist protesters or the Antifa here in Hamburg at the G20. Now before I show you more videos, I just wanted to say I don't really want to make a big deal out of this since this is literally in my job description as an independent journalist, but the details surrounding this and how it unfolded are very disturbing. Because now there's literally people following me home, walking around with a picture of me, looking for me, saying that they will seriously hurt me and kill me, all because because of an incident spurred by another journalist. Now as an independent journalist, I was covering the G20 like I always do. And there was a very significant presence of the Black Bloc and Antifa there. <laughs> And then before I knew it, a credentialed photographer started taking photos of me and the people that were next to me. People like Tim Pool, Lauren Southern, and two other journalists, Marcus and Max Backham. Later I found out these photos were taken by someone who goes underneath the name of Soren Kuhlenber, who was credentialed press at the G20 and is also an author, and from what I heard, works for news publications here in Germany. And before I knew it, he tweeted out a photo of all of us saying that we were identitarians and fascists and then sent that photo to Antifa. He also tweeted individual photos of us calling us fascist, which he deleted, all directing them to the more radical protest groups here in Hamburg. And before I knew it, I was getting tweets that people were looking for me at the protest. Now, personally, you know my reporting. I am anti-establishment, anti-authoritarian, anti-status quo. You know that from watching this YouTube channel. But this journalist still decided to discuss describe me without any fact checking, without any investigating, automatically as a fascist Nazi, which is fake news, and I'm neither of those things. You know that from watching this channel. I confront politicians. I call out world leaders for their horrible policies on this YouTube channel. I am not right wing nor left wing. And I clearly let my audience know that I have a bias against authority. And it wasn't just me that it happened to. It also happened to Marcus, who works for Heavy.com, and Max Bachham, who is an independent reporter who does freelance work for newspapers here. I I then later found out from Marcus that there was groups of people walking around with my photo in their phone looking for me in the crowd. We were then being followed and then a group of about 10 men tried to shoulder bump me, went after Max, punched Max a couple times and this is when I told Max to run. We started walking away from the situation when Max was already punched and then this happened. Run away Max. Run away. Watch your back, watch your back, watch your back. Not a Nazi. And then as we were running away from these group of men, other people in front of us started punching us and pelting us, throwing us on the ground and kicking us. Now physically I'm doing all right. I got a little bit of a shiner. A couple knots on the back of my head, I still don't know what I was hit with. Max was left bloodied after the situation, and after getting bandages on his bloody elbows and knees, we went 30 minutes outside of the city where we were followed, and then confronted by other protesters who walked up to us, and then told us to leave town immediately or we would be more seriously injured and murdered by them. And yeah, also for some reason the police decided to spray their water cannons when we were running away, and then told us that they can't help us and we're on our own. Stop. Marcus, another journalist, was attacked on a separate occasion and the link to his video will be in the description below. Now this credentialed journalist who lied about us and got us viciously attacked also started tweeting Lauren Southern's location and that she changed her shirt. Luckily she left the situation and wasn't there. And even on her way out, people were tracking her and trying to get her location so they could attack her. This journalist also tweeted out his displeasure with international journalists who do live broadcasting like myself. And I would just like to ask Ask him, why? Why would you lie about me? Why would you spread fake news about me and two other innocent people who clearly aren't identitarian, who clearly aren't Nazis or fascists? I also wanted to say that I hope no harm happens to this journalist who did this. Vengeance or getting revenge won't solve anything, won't fix anything. But ultimately, I just want to know why. Why'd you do this? 
So yeah, I really feel let down how this situation unfolded. Physically, I'm doing all right. I got a couple scrapes and bruises, bunch of lumps in the back of my head because I got hit with something, but I'm fine. In the future, I'm still gonna continue my reporting. This will not stop me. I'm gonna take better security precautions. And if you wanna see me do that, and if you wanna help this independent media organization, please consider going on patreon.com forward slash we are change because the only people who support us are you. I love you guys very much and I apologize for the lack of coverage here.